there is a breaking news. Nearly two years since giving SpaceX a $102 million five-year contract to demonstrate technologies and capabilities to transport military cargo and humanitarian aid around the world on a heavy rocket. The U.S. Department of the Air Force just surprisingly revealed that Starship Super Heavy will be a part of the plan to take on the noble responsibility of transporting cargo around the world. The agency even hoped that a single rocket would be able to launch once a day, with about an hour's notice, and be able to carry a hundred tons of cargo. All the Starship flight data will be collected by them in 2024. A rocket that can carry cargo around the world in 90 minutes? It will be a sci-fi movie in real. Discuss everything about this in today's episode of TechMap. But before we begin, our team extends a warm welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest news from SpaceX and the world of space. With that in mind, let's jump straight into today's episode. Rocket Cargo is one of the lab's so-called Vanguard programs of the Department of the Air Force which aims to develop and deliver new capabilities that soldiers can use on the battlefield using state-of-the-art technology. Although the program does not directly fund commercial rocket development, it examines the commercial rocket industry to determine whether the military could transport goods quickly around the globe. In January last year, SpaceX won a $102 million cargo delivery contract, a five-year contract to develop cargo and aid delivery rockets. According to the U.S. government website system for award management, the U.S. Air Force contract is a component of the Air Force's rocket cargo program, which examines the use of large commercial rockets for Department of Defense Global Logistics. With a value of up to 102 million USD, this is the largest contract ever awarded to date for missile goods, helping to determine exactly what heavy missiles can achieve in terms of real capacity, speed, and the cost of the integrated system when transporting military cargo and humanitarian aid. In any case, effort alone is insufficient. In April, one of SpaceX's Starship rockets blew up soon after takeoff. The explosion happened too soon to be gathered, but Spangers, the Air Force's rocket cargo manager, stated he did not view the launch as a failure because it achieved the company's objective of clearing the launch pad. On November 1, Spangers stated that he hoped additional test flights that could provide data would soon be conducted. On November 18, SpaceX attempted a second test launch of a Starship rocket, however. The rocket burst shortly after the stage separation stage. When asked how much data was gathered before this rocket's explosion, AFRL did not respond by the deadline for this story. Spangers recently disclosed that the rocket cargo program is presently in the data collection stage. Additionally, in 2024, the U.S. Air Force will receive access to all of the data that SpaceX collects during the first Starship flights. Next year, the USAF intends to develop methods for quickly loading and unloading 20-foot containers from a rocket using a cargo bay mock-up that is essentially the upper half of a Starship. Additionally, the Air Force expects the rocket cargo program to demonstrate the capacity to launch rockets quickly, bring large amounts of cargo down from orbit, and load and unload cargo quickly by 2026. Though it could be completed by 2025. Wow, that's so fascinating. 2024 is approaching and there is also one year left until 2025. SpaceX is expected to launch dozens or even hundreds of times a year on the Starship, but this still depends on many factors, possibly due to FAA approval, which means launches will be limited. That still shows SpaceX's ability to work and operate very quickly, with the spirit of always learning from mistakes, and for this progress, SpaceX is very quickly reaching the finish line. The saying of Spangers, Build, break, build, break is truly suitable for SpaceX in the rocket building process. As we previously said, the effort hasn't always gone smoothly. Except being flyable, Starship must also meet the demanding requirements of the Air Force. So what is SpaceX's challenge in designing the rocket for its next flight? According to Spangers, the Air Force's planned cargo capacity will put a lot of strain on the missile's actuators, thermal protection system, and other parts. Perhaps the most important data the Air Force Research Laboratory wants to collect, he says, is information about the rate of pressure drop as the rocket enters space and then the change in pressure as it flies into space. 
it returns to the atmosphere. This will assist the service in learning how the cargo will react in a vacuum and, as a result, how to protect it. The lab also wants more information on how thermal protection systems on rockets work and how much mass can be safely lowered from orbit. More weight means more drag force, which generates a significant amount of heat that must be dissipated in some way. For this reason, rocket manufacturers like SpaceX must consider these requirements when designing their rockets. According to Spangers, the U.S. rocket industry has recently made several advances that point to the feasibility of the rocket cargo concept. He noted that for decades, the country launched three or four rockets per year. However, he claims that by last year, that figure had risen to 100 launches, the majority of which were carried out by SpaceX, and that by next year, it could reach 150, or about one every other day. The number 100 is a great feat for SpaceX, specifically for Falcon. But for Starship, 100 launches a year are only equal to eight launches. The Starship is not like any rocket that has ever existed. Its size, payload capacity, landing, and takeoff capabilities, and the number of vehicles it will build when it is operational will surpass anything created during the previous 70 years of spaceflight. To begin with, its size. The Starship is currently the only rocket under development that intends to both reuse and launch such a large mass. Yes, the Starship is indeed very powerful, in fact, it is the most powerful rocket ever built. The rocket produces a whopping 3,400 tons of thrust and 72 meganewtons of thrust thanks to its collection of Raptor engines. This powerful starship outperforms all other rockets, including the Falcon family, with the Falcon 9 capable of launching approximately 16 tons into low Earth orbit in a reusable configuration. SpaceX normally launches Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, but there may be cargo too heavy for them to carry. The Starship can launch more than 100 tons, a huge volume which makes it the most powerful tool in the cargo industry. Secondly, the spacecraft's large volume allows it to carry a wide range of cargo sizes, with a massive payload volume of 1,100 cubic meters and the ability to carry loads up to 18 meters high and 9 meters wide, much more reusable than other rockets available today. On top of that, Six Raptor engines will power the Starship in deep space. Currently, SpaceX is developing Raptor 3, which shows that Starship will be able to be even more powerful. SpaceX intends to fly Starship at a per-mission cost of $2 million. If achieved, this will mean a Starship launch will cost less than one one-thousandth that of the nearest equivalent rocket under development, NASA's Space Launch System rocket. Finally, Starship's speed is great. A Starship, refueled in low Earth orbit, will have a delta V of approximately 6,500 meters per second. This outperforms the typical satellite, which can travel at speeds ranging from 50 to 100 meters per second per year. After completing the IFT-2 flight on November 18, Elon Musk revealed the third flight. The flight may be carried out in Q1-2024. In spite of its aggressive early launch schedules and quick prototype iterations, SpaceX has trouble getting regulatory approval for the launch of this spaceship because of possible environmental effects. Starship is still in development, but we believe it will further demonstrate the superiority of space technology through successful test flights in 2024, 2025, and beyond. SpaceX's efforts are focused on pushing limits, opening up new possibilities, and setting new standards for the space industry. We believe SpaceX will succeed. How about you? What do you think about Starship's role in the U.S. Defense Force and its impact on national security? Share your thoughts by commenting below. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high quality content. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.